Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial I'm going to show you what happens when a copy of a control multiplexed or mirrored control file goes offline, okay, where when, it, when the database is up and running. So this is what happens when a copy of your co control file, um, either the SAN disk that it's on, uh, you lose connection to the SAN or um, to that path or the internal hard drive crashes or whatever the issue is what happens to an instance that's up and running okay and it's different from uh, Windows and Unix based systems okay so let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance let's ensure we're set properly finance and let's log in using our SQL plus program ensure we're connected to SysDBA user sys we're connected to the correct database select name from v dollar sign database which we are finance now let's take a look at the control files that this database currently knows about select name from v dollar control file okay notice how we have three con the control file is multiplex the mirror that we have three control file copies we have one that's in c colon slash database or data finance control zero one that's ctl another one that's in c colon slash database or data finance control 02.ctl and then we have one with a different drive letter remember this is windows f colon different partition which is in database or data finance control 03.ctl okay this is on an inter this is on a external usb hard disk okay that i have connected to my um, hard drive that i have connected to my uh, this microsoft vista laptop here now you can do the same thing with a thumb drive or whatever now the reason why i'm doing it like this is because uh, Windows has an internal mechanism the operating system does which locks files that are in use so you can't get rid of them while Oracle database is up and running but we certainly can pull a USB cable out okay so let's go ahead and let's pull the cable you can't see that in the video here but that's what I'm doing alright I just pulled the cable And now when I do a select name from V$ sign control file, notice how it says Oracle instance terminated. Okay? So, we go ahead and we go to where our um, control uh, alert log is for the instance, which is uh, the Oracle base, Oracle app, and then diag, rdbms, finance, finance, trace. And we just look at the last few entries of the alert log, alert underscore finance dot log. I haven't cleaned up that file in quite some time, obviously. Okay. We see up here that the database is, is rolled along, no problem. We opened it, no problem. Right here, as soon as I pulled the USB cable, we get error in write in block 3, block 1 of control file, and there it is. F colon slash database or data finance control 03 sync write failed okay so it's saying that it can't find a control file okay and it says terminating the terminating the instance due to error and it says errors in file and then it shuts down all the processes okay so on a windows box if the if one of the control file copies goes away okay um, or you, you lose um, you're not you lose uh, connectivity to it your instance will crash immediately now that's not necessarily the case on Unix and Linux based systems. On Unix and Linux based systems, the system would typically stay up until you do something that requires a control file update, which will happen pretty quickly within like three seconds or so anyway. So your instance is pretty much toast, okay, um, if you lose a control file copy. Now I know what you guys are thinking. A lot of people think, well, wait a minute, if I mirror or multiplex my control file, shouldn't the database stay up if I lose a control file? Isn't that the whole point of it? I mean, because people are comparing it to like disk mirroring, you know? That if you lose it, if you your operating system disk is mirrored and you lose the secondary copy or the, or the primary copy, it will just, you know, seamlessly go to the other disk. No, that's, that's not the case with Oracle because the multiplex and mirroring of control files is not about, it's not about high availability. Okay, let me repeat that because I believe it warrants it. Multiplexing or mirroring of control files is not about high availability. 
it's about backup okay so the whole point of mirroring your control files or multiplexing it whatever you want to call it is that if you lose one all you have to do is copy another one back and you should be ready to go okay and really actually the, let, let me rephrase that the point of multiplexing or mirroring your control files is that any change that the Oracle database writes to one control file will be automatically written to other copies so if there is a failure with the primary you can just copy one back so if you lose any copy of the control file the instance on Windows will crash immediately on Linux or Unix it's pretty much immediately but it'll maybe take a few minutes okay so we go ahead we log in to SQL plus like so and we attempt to start our uh, instance backup, our finance database backup. And cannot find the control file, so it's not going to start the database. Even though it has the other two control files, it doesn't care it wants all of its copies. So what I'm doing right now is, which you can't see in the video, is I'm plugging the USB cable back in. Probably heard that. That was Windows automatically detecting the hardware. So we'll give it a uh, up. Oh, there we go. All right. So F colon is now back online. Okay, where expect my control file to be. So now, if I type in startup, or you rezoned the sand disk or fixed the hardware problem or whatever the issue was that caused that control file copy to go offline. Okay. So now, if you restart it, database is mounted because it was able to find all of its copies of the control file okay because we introduced that disk back to the OS so it's now visible from the OS once again okay select name from v dollar sign database select name from v dollar control file and there we are all three of them and again if you lose any one of them the instance crashes Okay, now if you lose one, I'm sorry, so if any of these become unaccessible, I should say the instance crashes. If you lose any of them, like they're deleted somehow, the instance crashes, and then, you can, then when, once you fix the path, the, you can just copy one of these surviving ones back over. And I actually detail that in my other control file mirror and video. Okay, so, c colon slash database, or data finance, dir, ctl. There's our two control, first two co control file copies. And we go f colon um, f colon slash database slash order data slash finance. There's our control zero three. Okay, so control any control file copy um, all of a sudden becomes unavailable on Windows. The Oracle instance crashes immediately. Any control file copy that all of a sudden becomes unavailable on Unix or Linux, it may not be instantaneous, but will be pretty soon. Okay, thank you.